Bonjour and bienvenue to Trailers from Hell. And uh, we go overseas today for the uh, for our film of the day. It's an epic musical known in France as Les Uns Les Autres. And uh, it was actually released in the U.S. as Bolero. Uh, it features music and tunes by Francis Delay and Michel Legrand. Uh, and uh, one song actually features lyrics by the great Alan and, and Marilyn Bergman. Uh, dance choreography by Maurice Beja. Uh, and a cast that includes James Kahn and Geraldine Chaplin, uh, and a host of French stars, including uh, Fanny Ardant, Robert Hussain, and Jean-Claude Briali. Uh, by the way, look fast for Sharon Stone uh, in one scene. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, this is one of those um, behind-the-scenes trailers, that kind of, kind of the, the, the type of trailer that Otto Preminger might have made uh, for one of his own epics. Uh, and it features, uh, of course, f footage shot uh, um, on the set. Uh, the director here is Claude Lelouch, uh, who was known in the U.S. mostly for his, his big hit, A Man and a Woman, uh, back in 1966. Uh, this is uh, likely his largest and most uh, ambitious production. Uh, I have the soundtrack album, actually, for the film. Um, it is a, a really, really big soundtrack. This is the American uh, release soundtrack, which omits a, a few of the songs, but uh, it's it's a nice cover, I think. Uh, there's also the... Uh, I have two DVD releases. There's this out-of-print um, American Region 1, which is the international version, which is uh, a little over three hours, I think. Um, so there's that. And I also have the rare... Um, expanded six-hour TV version of the film, which Lelouch kind of prepped for a kind of mini-series rollout. This is very, very, very rare item. Uh, very out of, It's also out of print in, in France, actually. This is an import. Um, this actually is a 133 aspect ratio, even though the film is a 235 to 1. Uh, so um, let's kick off the trailer. There's uh, a lot of a lot to see in this film and uh, I hope you enjoy the trailer. It's a really uh, out of the box one, really as I said behind the scenes kind of stuff. For Les uns et les autres, this is a Dutch trailer, so uh, I actually put uh, some of the English narration from the uh, um, American version of the trailer back in. So you'll you'll hear maybe a little bit of the um, English, but uh, you will you will also see some Dutch subtitles because it was the highest quality uh, trailer that I could find. So, les uns et les autres. I've loved this movie ever since I was a teenager and scored it on a double VHS set. It was an early Vestron tape release in the States, and it omitted a good 10 minutes of material for whatever reason, resulting in some awkward scene-to-scene -scene transitions. Sometimes with an abrupt snippet of the original audio of a deleted scene remaining at the cut points. Yeah, pretty clumsy. The image DVD restored what had been cut, and those bad transitions are thankfully corrected. But as I mentioned, this opened in America under the title Bolero, because of the reveled scored finale. Of course, it's never to be confused with the Bo Derek soft core item that came out just two years later, or the Carol Lombard George Raft item from 1934. But this is a big musical and a big story. Starting in Europe in 1936, just before the outset of the Second World War, and spanning all the way up to 1981, what was then present day, it tells multiple stories of many families across many continents, all of whom are musicians of some form or fashion. The cast members also play the sons and daughters of their own characters. James Kahn plays an American band leader a la Glenn Miller or Harry James, as well as his own gay talent manager son. Geraldine Chaplin plays Kahn's vocalist wife and their own pop star daughter. There's a Holocaust-related story of a French pianist and his violinist wife who meet at the Folie Bergère and then attempt to save their infant son from the camps. And there's a Russian ballet family who are similarly impacted by the war and many other characters beyond. The French title Les Uns et les Autres doesn't quite translate properly to English, but it would be something like The Ones and the Others, relating to the idea that we have our primary characters and the many others who consistently orbit them from generation to generation and spin the wheels of chance, fortune, and misfortune for them. 
These are Claude Lelouch's big prevailing themes. In fact, James Conant worked with Lelouch on a 1977 romantic western called Another Man, Another Chance, a kind of American frontier take on his own A Man and a Woman, co-starring Jean-Vier Bujold. He'd scored another art house hit in the States with a film called Tout d'une Vie, which I also recommend. So, James Kahn. This isn't the James Kahn of The Godfather, The Gambler, or Thief, which was produced the same year as this film. This is more the softer side of Mr. Kahn, and he makes a convincing Glenn Miller surrogate, here named Jack Glenn. And a word about Geraldine Chaplin, daughter of Charlie, of course, but consider the directors she's worked with. David Lean, Robert Altman, Richard Lester, Martin Scorsese, Carlos Sara, Alan René, Jacques Rivette, Dickie Attenborough, Pedro Almodovar, Claude Lelouch, Alan Rudolph, James Ivory, and many others beyond. What a career. The soundtrack is exceptionally catchy. I think it's impossible not to hum at least one of the tunes after the final fade out. In this trailer, it's interesting to see how Lelouch and his crew managed to stage a lot of the trickier camera gambits throughout the film. Lelouch was fond of frantically encircling his characters with his camera, and he liked getting elaborate with handheld. But the cinematographic balletics really reach ambitious heights in Les Zones Les Autres. Now, you heard me mention the six hour television version of the film. That expands mostly on some of the French characters, but as a fan of the film, it's worthwhile seeing Lelouch's expanded canvas, his expanded universe. Many of the director's so-called repertory actors turn up too, namely Jacques Villerette and Francis Houster, both of whom had been in Another Man, Another Chance. This film isn't terribly easy to track down in the US these days. The DVD, as I mentioned, is out of print, but it's worth the effort and I hope you try to find it because it's really stirring epic work. The type of old-fashioned, big, sweeping human stories we get so little of today. Claude Lelouch is 84 as of this recording and still at it. I just hope I'm as active at that age.